yo what's good basketball head it's your boy crush let's talk about damian lillard saying he's not interested in rebuilding so dame dollar don't want to rebuild in portland but what other option do you have basically the team is not good they're going to miss the playoff this season and in order to get better they have to rebuild but here's the problem dame don't have that luxury he's going to be 33 this year and he only have oh so much time left. I mean, as far as his prime. Dame have a good, what, three more years in his prime, I'll say. Maybe four if you're lucky, but more so like three more years in his prime. So he doesn't have the luxury of rebuilding. But what else can you do? If you don't rebuild, the team is going to be bad. It's going to be another year of missing the playoff and frustration. And yes, he's very frustrated. And I get it, but it's a bad situation all around. It's a bad situation for Dame. It's a bad situation for the organization. It's a bad situation for the city of Portland. So what are you going to do? He don't want to rebuild, but if they don't rebuild, they're not going to go anywhere. And it's that simple. So Dame has a decision to be made. A very important decision. I know Dame don't want to win on a super team. He want to win in Portland. I get it. But the fact of the matter is, he's not going to win in Portland. And I respect him for wanting to stay down. I want Dame to get it like Giannis, but it's not in his favor. It's just not. To me, Dame's only option is going to be to leave Portland. I'd rather him stay down, obviously. I respect it, but what is he going to do? In order for the Trailblazers to be competitive, they're going to have to rebuild. There's no way around it. They're going to have to rebuild. There's just no way around that situation. They're going to have to rebuild from the ground up. And Dame don't have the time, the luxury to go two, three, four seasons of rebuilding. By the time the Trailblazers organization is done rebuilding, Dame is going to be out of his prime, basically. He's going to be out of his prime. So it's a, it's a bad situation. It's a sad situation, but that's just what it is. In the end, I feel like the organization needs to do Dame a favor. You know he's loyal. He doesn't want to leave, but... They're going to have to force him out the door, honestly. I think the only option is trade Dame, force him out the door so he could go chase a championship. That's the only way I see it because he's not going to leave and the team is not getting better. Next year, it's the same situation. He's going to be in the same situation, balling out, putting up all these great numbers, but it's not going to equate to winning. So if Dame stay in Portland, it's the same situation. Season after season, at this point, it's beating a dead horse, basically. So I think he should leave Portland, honestly. Even though I don't want him to, you know, join super teams. Just join a team where they need a superstar. He could go to New York. He could join the Knicks or a team like that where it's not going to be a super team. It's going to be a good team. And one or two more pieces and the Knicks could compete for a championship. You know, they'll be in the runnings, basically. But if he's staying in Portland and he's trying to gut it out and I respect it, I really respect that. But he, he needs help. He needs help. Every player needs help. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're Michael Jordan, LeBron, Kobe. It doesn't matter who you are. You need help. And Dame don't have the help he needs. So he's in Portland trying to stay down. And I respect it once again. I respect the loyalty. He gets no more loyal than that. But the fact of the matter is, the trailblazers ain't going anywhere. They're not. They ain't going nowhere. And it's a sad situation. Most of the times, this is what happens. Even though you want to be loyal, you want to stay down, you want to win in Portland, you want to do it like how LeBron brought a championship to Cleveland, you want to do that in Portland, but the sad truth is, it's not going to happen. It's not happening in Portland. Not with the current roster, not with the current team, unless there's a miracle somewhere. It's not going to happen. So either Dame is going to have to make a conscious decision to leave the Trailblazers or the organization, the upper management, needs to push him out the door, basically. Do him that solid. Just push him out the door. You know, get some pieces for him and let the man go on and win a championship. You know, or go spend the last few years of his prime competing for championships. Because if he stay in Portland, he's going to end up like Melo, basically. Melo had a great career, don't get me wrong, at least to me. Melo had a great career, but in the end, he's going to be 
ringless if he stays in Portland. And he's going to get scrutinized for it. Oh, but he never won. As great as Dame Dollar is, but he never won. That's going to be the story. You know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And in this situation, you need to get out of town, man. Just get out of town. It's okay. The fans will understand. They got to understand. Why wouldn't they not understand? You've been loyal, been down for years. They'll understand. I'm pretty sure the fans will understand. He's at the tail end of his prime. He got a good three years left in his prime, I'll say. Yeah, I say about a good three more seasons in his prime, the peak of his prime. And you can't squander that in Portland, man. You just can't. He doesn't have the help he need. He don't. And it's a bad situation. So Dane made it clear he has no intention of rebuilding. And I get it, but what other options do you have? If you have no intention of rebuilding, then you got to go through the ground with the same team, which is not a good team, and the results won't change. So it's either you want to rebuild, but if you do rebuild, by the time they're finished rebuilding, you're out of your prime. So it's a no-win situation. It's the catch-22 situation. So his best bet is to just suck it up. You've been loyal enough. I'm sure the city will understand. And go find a team that needs a star, superstar, and go start competing for championships, man. Like, don't waste your last three, four years in Portland competing to make the play-in. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, at this stage in his career, rebuilding is not an option. Not in Portland. It's not an option. But winning is also not an option. Not in Portland. They don't have enough. They don't have the pieces he needs. They don't have the team he needs. So it's a catch-22 situation. And I could tell you right now, the best bet for Dame is to go somewhere else. Like truthfully, I'd rather him stay down in Portland than I do, but I know the reality is they're not good. And if he stays in Portland for another two, three seasons, guess what? He's going to be trying to chase a ring when he's too old. And that's, that's going to be the situation. He's going to wait too long until he's at the tail end of his prime. And now he's trying to chase, a, you know, now he's trying to leave to go get a championship and it's going to be harder. So go now while you're still in your prime. You still have a good three, four years left. Get out of town, man. Go find a team that needs a star, superstar, and go chase those rings. At least, you, at least you'll be competing. You don't have to join a super team to chase rings. No, you could chase ring on a very good team. Look at Giannis. His team is not a super team. No. That whole notion that you have to join a super team, you don't. You just need to find a team that you feel is good enough, have all the pieces you need, get your butt over there, inject yourself, and start competing for championships. They might not want to rebuild, but he may have no choice in the situation. The fact of the matter is, sometimes in life, you don't have a choice. And this is one of those situations where you have no choice. You either stay in Portland and rot. He could stay in Portland. Don't go nowhere for a few more years. Then he'll be out of his prime. Or he could leave and go find a team that needs a superstar and start competing for championships. That's the only option. There's no other way around it. That's it. The Trailblazers ain't close to winning a championship or anything, for that matter, beyond fighting to make the play-in. And, and that's a struggle. Just to make the play-in is a struggle. So, I mean, what else can you do? For the Trailblazers to consider themselves legitimate contenders, they got to make some major moves. And I don't see that coming anytime soon. What move are they going to make? Who's out there? Dame is in a bad situation. Truth be told, the cards is in his hand. He could decide his own fate. He could decide his own fate if he wants, but he is getting paid a lot of money in that sense. So you have a choice. You could choose the money, or you could choose to go somewhere else and chase rings. I have no problem with either one. If you want to get your money, get your money. I understand. If you want to get rings, go get the rings. I understand. So either way you put it, it's fine. You got to decide and figure something out. Because the time is ticking, like you always say, dame time, and you don't have a lot of time. You have a good three seasons. I'm going to say a good three more years in his prime, like, you know, in his prime, prime. He has about three more seasons in his prime. And if he want to win a championship to cement his career, 
he's going to have to go somewhere else. And that's just what it is. He's going to have to go somewhere else. Only time will tell what the Blazers can do to salvage what's left of Dame Prime. And the sad truth is, the fact of the matter is, the Trailblazers ain't going anywhere anytime soon. And that's just the fact of the matter. As always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.